All right, time now is 8.38. Welcome back to Good Day Columbia, and he's back at it today nonstop. Featuring Neil Nielsen, Hits Theaters. And before you head on out, we have a review for you. Joining me now is USC film student Brandon Davis. Brandon, thank you for being here again. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you remember Brandon was here earlier when we talked about Faith in Hollywood, the, the movie Son of God, that actually is out in theaters today, too. But first yes. of all, Brandon, you went to see nonstop at midnight. Was there a long line? <laughs> uh, you know, the theater wasn't that packed, to be honest with you, but uh, uh, it was pretty full, actually, more than usual, wow. for sure. So take us through nonstop, nonstop action. <laughs> uh, it's definitely hard to, to talk about a movie like this, such a uh, mysterious drama thriller, without giving too much away. Okay. But um, give us a little something. It, what what it, did you think? It was it was nonstop. To give it to give it one word, it was nonstop. Okay. It was um, when you think you know what's going on, it's just it's it's a bumpy oh, ride. Wow. You hit some turbulence out. Right. Bunch of moments where I'm like, did that really just happen? It was yeah. it was really thrilling. I really enjoyed it. Wow. Now we know um, Liam Nielsen for uh, being part in Taken. He had Taken One and Taken Two, and so now he's back here. It seems like there's a trend of him being the action hero. Yeah, yeah. Liam Neeson was definitely being Le classic Liam Neeson we've come to know lately. Okay. Uh, but I think they finally found a great balance between the action and the story. Um, right. It was it was all took place on a plane, so people can accept that you know yeah. that it all takes place on a plane. I know some, that can make some people a little skeptical about going to see this movie, uh, but they did find a great balance between the action and the drama in this movie. Unlike Taken, where it's all just oh he's like John McClane from Die Hard, just <laughs> right, can't, right. can't lose. <laughs> really quick, give us I guess a, a brief synopsis without giving it too much. How did he end up on the plane in the first place? Is, or can we talk about that? He, uh, he's a U.S. Air Marshal. Okay. And it is made to look like he's being he's being framed, for, and he's the one who's hijacking the plane, Got, which yeah. which is in the trailer. So I don't, I'm not giving anything right, away right, there. Right. But that's what it is. He, he's a U.S. Air Marshal. He um, has some family issues, some personal issues, uh, and that leads to some question of his character, hmm. which leads people to believe he's the one responsible. Ah, uh, and speaking of family, can you bring the entire family out to see this movie? What do you think? <laughs> oh, well, you know, if you have a family, I definitely, uh, mm -hmm. if they're young, I would recommend the Lego movie, um, <laughs> because, you know, it's been top of the box office three weeks in a row. Good I did point. see that one, and it is worth seeing it. You know, it's enjoy. It's more than tolerable as an adult, um, right. but if you have young kids, I see, I'd say that. If you have some teenagers, I'd say Three Days to Kill. That was really good. The story kind of gets caught up in itself a little mm -hmm. bit, but overall it sends a good message and it's very entertaining oh, but okay. if you're looking for a thrill non-stop was really it was, it was something else it was enjoyable and it was pretty intense well last point Brandon should I see this movie before I get on the plane <laughs> before you get on a plane <laughs> yes. I don't I don't think I would be the best idea uh, you'll be having some sketchy thoughts oh, right right <laughs> you especially know what I mean? depending if you're going so far yeah yeah um, especially if you're going across the Atlantic which is what they're oh, doing wow. in this movie uh, wow. overall <laughs> I give it I give it a 7.9 out of 10 because oh, you know, okay, on like bad. a grade scale it's not quite up there at the B minus it's okay. above average at a C plus it's worth seeing though I definitely think it was intense okay. all right yeah. Brandon Davis USC film student Brandon thank you for being here this morning we're talking about nonstop make sure you go on out and see it today if you're trying to figure out what to do and also son of God it hits theaters um, today as well we talked about it earlier this week stay with us there's more good day coming up after the break